Today, I want to show you how a spiritual awakening at a cosmic level can empower you to manifest and support you through these challenging times. Hi, I'm Saratoga Ocean, and I work together with an interdimensional, interuniversal, and extraterrestrial force known as Telstar, along with Archangel Michael. A spiritual awakening is not meant to be a one-off experience, and then once you're awake, you just have to learn how to live with that new reality. An awakening is so much more than that. If you understand your awakening at a more cosmic level, then you will also see how it can enhance your ability to manifest what you want in your life. And that's what I want to talk to you about today. Now, before 2020, the idea of manifesting what you want might have seemed like a bit of a luxury. And even if you weren't particularly interested in this idea, you could probably still get by in life anyway. That was when the world was more stable and more reliable in terms of the basics in life. But now we have a vastly different situation. The controllers of this planet are visibly taking down our human civilization. They have proven themselves to be outrageous liars. And worse yet, they are entirely unpredictable. And they clearly do not have our best human interests in mind. And I have a bad feeling about what their next moves against us might be. And I don't think we should wait around to find out. Instead, I think that now is the time to really understand the awakening process and how important it is so that we can successfully navigate these uncharted waters using the art of conscious manifestation. So let's start by looking at a spiritual awakening from a broader, more cosmic level. When you fully understand this, you are going to be absolutely amazed at the power that is available to you once you are in an awakened state. We can begin by understanding the origin of a spiritual awakening. Our universe is in a huge process of evolving out of duality. This means that every single living thing and every part of creation in this universe is a part of that evolutionary process. So let's focus down on planet Earth and talk about how that process is manifesting here. As you may know, we are in the midst of a gigantic AI takeover of our planet. AI is an alien force that has invaded this dimension and seeks to absorb everything in its path to further its own artificial anti-creator agenda. The controllers of this planet are minions of this AI force and they operate on its behalf. Now the universe is highly responsive to this because AI exists as an existential threat to its entire living creation and thus is a threat to the universe as a whole. So in response to this, the universe increases and intensifies its light in order to wake up anyone who is ready to move on to the next level of consciousness and continue on a natural path of evolution. Ascension refers to an acceleration of evolution along with a huge intensification of light designed to support that process. Now, we human beings are a manifestation of life in this universe. We are a manifestation of the universe's consciousness when we are in our natural state as creators. So here's how the planetary awakening starts. The universe is evolving. The light of the intelligence and consciousness of the living universe exists in all of us. At the same time, we have free will because that's how we're designed as creators. As the universe increases its light during an ascension process, one of two things will happen for us. We will either be in receptivity to that light or we will be in resistance to it. Now, the level of receptivity or resistance will mostly occur at a deeper, more subconscious level. It happens on the level of the soul's growth. 
And that's not always entirely conscious. What this ascension light is doing is encouraging and supporting those who are receptive to go to the next level of consciousness. If a person is receptive and their soul is ready, then they will experience an awakening as to who they really are at a higher level of being. If a person is resistant and their soul is not ready to go to the next level, then they will likely harden their resistance even more in reaction to that light. And this is why so many people seem stuck and immovable. Now you cannot consciously control an awakening, and that's probably a good thing. You can't force it to happen in yourself, and you certainly can't force it in another person. And I think this is positive because it completely removes the experience of awakening from the domain of the ego. And we know that the ego would just love to be able to control the awakening process. Fortunately, it doesn't have any access to how or when this happens. Now, let's talk for a moment about what actually happens when a person awakens. It's actually very simple. Imagine the light of the creator and of the universe at the center of your being. When an awakening happens, this light expands and radiates into a person's conscious awareness. It thus illuminates certain things about that person's perception of identity. Here's what that can look like. As we go through life on this planet, we acquire what I'll call a false identity. This is comprised of everything that we bought into and tried to become in order to please the outer world. It is also comprised of any negative projections that were laid on us by other people if we believed those projections and adopted them as our own. When a person is consciously or subconsciously ready to move forward to the next level of evolution, they begin to feel the energy of this light within as it illuminates their consciousness at a higher level of being. Because this is who they really are, their everyday consciousness begins to shift into that new experience their orientation begins to change. They become consciously aware that the previous false identity doesn't really work for them anymore. And they start to lose their connection to that false identity. It's like all of a sudden waking up and realizing that what used to do it for you just doesn't do it for you anymore. The facade that you thought you were because it matched the facade of the outer world no longer makes sense. Suddenly you don't relate to the people and activities that used to interest you. Instead, you may find yourself going on a spiritual quest to find a new reality that matches how you really feel inside. This becomes a journey of looking for something that resonates with your higher, newer, and truer sense of self, and it can feel very lonely. That's because you most likely find yourself surrounded by people and circumstances that match the old you that is dying off because it wasn't real. That old you is dying off because it's time for you to move to the next level, which is more authentic and resonant with who you really are. This is actually part of the ascension process. It's like shedding the skin of your old identity so a newer, more authentic you can begin to manifest. So I wanted to share this with you because I think a lot of times people think that awakening happens first and then ascension may or may not happen later. But if you are spiritually awakening, then you are actually in an ascension process. And it's entirely up to you how far you want to take that process. So I wanna help you realign how you see the awakening ascension process so it's not so confusing and it's more empowering instead. Even though you're on planet Earth, you are also in the universe. 
Ascension happens from wherever you are in this universe. And currently it's happening for us here on this planet because this is where we are. So I encourage you to see yourself as a cosmic being who is evolving to the next level of consciousness rather than as a struggling earth person who may be lost and alone. Seeing yourself as a cosmic being who is evolving to the next level is much more in alignment with the real you who is awakening from within. Think of your old life and relationships of being a product of the old you that is no more. Now, that's not to say that some portion of your life is not useful. Some parts of your life may still feel compatible for you, and others may not. Everyone is different in this regard. But it's important to understand that it is entirely natural for certain parts of your life to fall away after an awakening happens, or for you to lose interest. Now, what happens a lot of times is that after a person awakens, or as they're in the process of awakening, they can get very confused and very disoriented. They can feel misunderstood by the world around them and feel very much alone. And this is completely understandable. So let's pause for a moment and shift this type of confusion into an understanding that is truly empowering. If you feel like your life is falling apart, then see if you can put that experience in the context that I'm sharing with you now. There is a new and better path that is waiting for you whenever you are ready. And that is the path of creatorship and manifestation. A spiritual awakening is specifically designed to activate your power as a creator. And we need that now more than ever. So if you are awakened or awakening, then consider that a great blessing given all that is going on in the world today. The truth is that the universe is actually trying to protect you by illuminating your consciousness at higher and higher levels so you have an opportunity to make the best choices for yourself. As I said earlier, the controllers are actively trying to ruin us as a humanity and thus ruin our lives in the process. It does not work for us to sit helplessly by and watch this happen. See, that's why they want to keep us in fear. Because with fear comes paralysis and an inability to enlist our full cognitive functions. If they can render us paralyzed and temporarily stupid in this way, then they can do whatever they want to us. So when you understand that your awakening happens in a larger cosmic context, then you are able to disengage from the controller's lower vibrational trap of fear. Then you are able to consciously pursue the real reason for your awakening and start living a more empowered life. Now let's talk about the art of manifestation and how your awakening can directly empower your ability to manifest. The truth in this universe is omnipresent oneness. This means that without duality, we would recognize that everything and everyone is a manifestation of love and of the ultimate creator of all life. Now let me clear up a common misunderstanding about the subject of oneness. A lot of people believe that what oneness means is that we are just simply all currently one on this planet. This theory says that even if a person murders someone, it's ultimately okay at a higher level because we are all one. Now, if this were true, it would mean that war, violence, suffering, and starvation are all fine because they are ultimately a manifestation of oneness. And we know that this isn't true. Those things are all a manifestation of separation. So unless oneness is actually manifesting, then it's not an experience of oneness. So we are evolving into that true experience of oneness, but we have to evolve out of duality in order to get there. 
And the other reason that all of the negative things happening on this planet cannot be construed as a manifestation of oneness is because oneness can only be experienced as love. And we know that killing, harming, and destroying life are not acts of love. Now, when you are awakening, you have an opportunity to begin realizing your deep and lasting connection with the oneness of the universe and the oneness of your creator. That's what this emerging light from within is there to show you as it wakes you up more and more. So in essence, your life is meant to be an extension of that creator's love and intelligent creation. The reason that I advocate so strongly for meditation is because it's how you give yourself the quiet time and space to tune into that light and become more familiar with its nature. It's how you give yourself the space to experientially find out what that inner light wants to reveal about the real you. It's a soft and gentle light of illumination. Its nature is sensitivity, kindness, and love. But you can't tune into that if you're running around doing stuff all day and looking at screens every available moment. You really need to spend some quiet time alone. And this is also why you can't get the purest truth about yourself from someone else in the outer world. The only pure truth there is will be illuminated from within. The reason that you want to tune into this inner light, which some refer to as the light of the universe itself, is because you are meant to co-create with this amazing energy and intelligence. So let's talk about how to do that. The biggest mistake that we humans make whenever we want to manifest or create something is that we let the ego be in charge of that endeavor. But here's the thing about the ego. It will always direct you in such a way as to preserve itself. It's not really interested in evolution. Its main interest is survival of itself as the main authority in your life. The ego is that voice in the head that always tells you why you can't do something and why it will probably fail. Essentially, the ego is the voice of fear and negativity. It's the mental voice that loves to remind you about all of the previous times in your life when things didn't work out the way you had hoped. It refers to these failures as your reality. And then it uses all of this to dissuade you from moving forward in your life. Now, sometimes it will say positive things, but it will usually be said at the expense of someone or something else. Now, the heart has a voice too, but it doesn't speak in words. And that's what can get really confusing. The heart is a high vibrational voice of inspiration, love, and positive energy. It will infuse your consciousness with light and hope, with inspired ideas and synchronicities. But because the ego has been directing us for most of our lives on this planet, we tend to view its direction as a safer bet. Yet here's what's important to realize. That voice in the head is the ego's ongoing narrative that's designed to explain to you what everything in your experience means. It attaches its own meaning to everything and then gets you to believe in those made up meanings with a goal of getting you to act and react based upon those meanings. This is how the ego stays in control and directs you in ways that are fear-based and in its own best interest. Now, what you most need to know is that the ego is incapable of manifesting anything. All it knows how to do is control. So let's talk about manifestation at a higher, more cosmic level. It's really a matter of asking yourself, 
What is the more dominant voice in my experience? Is it the talking voice of the ego? Or is it the high vibrational flow of communication that comes in the form of graceful inspiration and is sourced directly from within the heart? Now, as long as we live in duality, we are going to be dealing with these two voices in our consciousness. So evolving means to shift control away from the ego and find our center in the cosmic consciousness of the heart. This is the first most important step in evolving out of this situation of duality. As long as you allow the ego to stay in control of your life, you will likely feel very stuck and also find it difficult to manifest. That's because the ego will have an opinion about every new idea that enters your mind. And those opinions will often be negative. This is because the ego thrives on control and once it has established its patterns of behavior and beliefs in your consciousness, it is very resistant to giving those patterns up. This is why whenever you entertain the idea of moving outside of the ego's box of identity, the ego will usually react with fear. It uses fear to keep you stuck in the same place. So fighting against the ego's tendency for stuckness whenever you want to introduce change in your life is often a losing battle. So instead of fighting against the ego's resistance, you can shift your consciousness to focus on a cosmic level of manifestation. Cosmic manifestation is the act of co-creating with the universe. It's mostly about alignment and acceptance of the powerful light and inspiration within. A spiritual awakening empowers you to be able to manifest in this way because it amplifies that inner light in a way that makes it much easier to get in touch with it. So cosmic manifestation is also about surrendering to love and to that inner light and releasing yourself from the ego's authoritarianism. Now there are several main steps to manifesting a better life from a cosmic level. The first step is to take regular quiet time alone to connect with and familiarize yourself with the sense of that inner light. The next step is to spend time with that light every day and allow yourself to experience it at deeper and deeper levels. The more you do this, the more you will notice the darkness of fear and worry begin to melt away in your life. That's because your increasing attention on that light will cause the voice of the ego to become more and more secondary in your life. The more the ego's voice becomes secondary, the more you will find yourself naturally open to a higher level of inspiration. And as you calm your inner spirit more and more, you may notice some amazing new ideas begin to bubble up in your consciousness. This is what happens when you open up your inner pathways of consciousness to messages from the universe. Where you once couldn't think of what to do, you may now find some amazing new insights begin to enter your mind and heart. And then this entire process becomes like a dance of balance between action and surrender. It's about knowing when to become quiet and listen and when to act on what you're discovering. When we are perfectly aligned with our natural human design, we experience an endless open channel between the universe and our outer lives. And this is what empowers our ability to manifest and create. So this is what we're aiming to evolve into. Now the ego loves to stand in the way of all of this and take charge of the entire process using fear. 
So when you understand more about where that voice of fear is coming from and why it's there, you will find it easier to shift away from it and begin creating whatever it is that you really want. This is part of how we can begin evolving out of separation and become whole again. We first need to feel whole within ourselves. And a spiritual awakening is perfectly designed to empower us to do that. Imagine how different it will feel to start getting intuitive inner messages from a benevolent universe instead of having to rely on the frantic voice of the ego with all of its fear-based interpretations of reality. So I encourage you to experiment with these ideas. Don't limit your awakening to being only about recognizing everything that's wrong on this planet. There are many amazing and higher levels of awakening that we can also move into. This is how we can increase our strength, our confidence, and our ability to function as creators again. Now, before I go, I want to let you know that on August 8th and 9th, which is the powerful Lionsgate portal, August 8th, I'm going to be offering a special sale on our premium course entitled Ascension Power, Trust the Light Within. This is something that I rarely do, but I want to do it at this particular moment because this is just such a perfect synchronous timing for this. And I want to make it available to you all at a much lower cost for this special occasion. Now, the thing I want you to know about this course, this online course, is that within it, it includes as its centerpiece a process created by Archangel Michael and Telstar entitled The Final Elimination of the Source of Fear. This will explain everything you need to know about why we are in duality, why this universe is in the state it's in, the planet, all of it. It's amazing. And there's a process um, that is an incredible accelerator. I mean, that you can do inside of this course in conjunction with Telstar and, Arch and Archangel Michael that is incredibly transformational. We've been offering this for years and this is a new form that we're offering it in. So keep an eye out August 8th and 9th. This is beautiful timing for you to um, partake of this if you haven't already. And um, just stay tuned. I will let you know more about it as we get closer to that amazing date of August 8th, the Lions Portal. And um, yeah, so check it out because I don't often make this kind of an offer. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it out with anyone else who you think would want to know more about their spiritual awakening and their built-in center of power. And be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell because I am here every Tuesday with all new videos. And with that, I'm sending you so much love, light, and high vibrational energy. Have a beautiful day, my friends. Namaste.